The Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitor, or ECAM, is there to assist you in normal and abnormal situations. The ECAM monitors the health of the aircraft, giving you early and immediate diagnosis to make your flight easier, more efficient, and above all, safer. The main component of the ECAM system are two cathode ray tubes, CRTs, conveniently located at the bottom left and right hand sides of the center panel for easy visibility. They provide the crew with only the most essential information they require throughout the flight. The left ECAM displays messages to tell you the aircraft condition or failures and the required corrective actions. The right ECAM automatically shows the most appropriate system diagram, depending on the current situation. In mode, the systems and the information required to operate them are displayed to you when you need them. Let example. Select both ECAM display units, or DU, to see what the ECAM automatically displays when the APU is started. The APU page automatically appears when the APU master switch is in the on position, so you can monitor APU start. This message appears on the memo page at the end of the APU start sequence to remind you that the APU is running. Memo page at the end of the APU start sequence to remind you that the APU is running. When the APU RPM is greater than 95% for approximately 15 seconds, the APU page disappears to give way to either the wheel or engine start page, as in this case. The APU running message will remain until the APU is switched off. The ECAM eliminates the need for the crew to frequently scan the various system panels. It does it for you by monitoring temporarily used systems or functions and systems parameters which may drift out of normal range. Here there are 13 possible system pages that are available with the ECAM. In normal mode, only five of these will be automatically displayed. More details of the system pages will be given in the following lessons. During abnormal operation, the ECAM significantly reduces the crew workload. The system is designed to alert the crew to the failure, both orally and visually, identify the problem and indicate the immediate actions required, and locate the specific cause of the problem on a system diagram, which you can use to monitor the recovery. More details on types of warnings will be given in later lessons. With such a crucial system as the ECAM in the aircraft, it is important to have good segregation and redundancy built into the system. For this reason, each of the two CRTs is driven by totally independent symbol generator units, or SGUs, as seen here on the ECAM control panel. If there is a failure, either symbol generator unit has the capability to drive both display units if necessary. On the other hand, if either display unit fails, all information can be displayed sequentially on a single unit. The ECAM CRTs are also physically interchangeable with the CRTs for the Electronic Flight Instrument System, EFIS. And finally, each display unit is electrically supplied from a separate AC bus.